coins. Come on now. <laughs> Live in a galvanized steel, the near wood. <laughs> yep. And if you have an aunt, you could borrow screws from. But right, we are here at Pokemon Stadium for game one. A quick 31% for D Dog, but John Numbers firing back with one whole dash attack before the reversal. <laughs> An entire attack is still something. We also have the deep breathing active and ready, giving we feel a little bit more weight. We, she jumped and landed <laughs> on that pressure point, <laughs> the pressure plate, and we go for the Ooh. for the four to gain the spike as well. Opting to go for a little bit of a uh, tech situation, and thankfully D Dog able to get out of there unscathed relatively, but so does Numbers. Yeah, Numbers did show a lot of pretty like intelligent decisions right there. Really correct choices and some scramble situations, but then, then we on walk. the other hand... <laughs> <laughs> then so, we won. Numbers is so good until he isn't. So is that a document? <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Sometimes just like, go let him have it. Yeah. Just to feel something. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chasing the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice little setup right there. Kind of overshooting the ledge and then coming back to punish with the forward tilt. John Numbers, pretty solid deficit, but still moving with a lot of confidence here. Yeah, I think John is a, this, despite his, a, uh, how do I, how do I oh. phrase this? Oh, um, no. Me too, we fit. <laughs> he said, he said, oh. Just, <laughs> and, oh, yes. Despite John's reputation, yes. uh, there is the word I was looking for. John has a rather explosive overall punish game. So it seems like John is more or less biding his time Ooh. in order to find a big singular opening Ooh. that can net him an offstage advantage rather than just simply trying to go hit for hit with Steve. I'm seeing your, your point here. Also, <laughs> reputation, John Numbers version. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> answer there from D Dog. One stock apiece right now. No resources or, you know, diamond or gold to really watch out for, but the combos still work regardless. 48 on John Numbers right out of the gate. Absolutely. And you were mentioning earlier, you know, John's reputation and stuff, and he's also just a player that he should have his matchup. I mean, he's been screaming about it forever and ever and ever. Unbanned Steve, I can fight Steve, it's, it's whatever. And with Deep Breathing Active and with the way that his, his, his whole game has been going with them going one to one so far, relatively even, Deep Breathing is inactive at the moment. And even then, the the hit of that, the, the slap of the hand gets rid of the minecart. D-Dog has nothing, has uh, has to respect John to a certain, a certain extent on this Wii Fit. Yeah, we're definitely kind of seeing that respect too. Not uh, a lot of ambitious options coming out from D-Dog here. Just kind of trying to play it relatively safe while we get the resources built up, find some time to mine, whereas John is just getting very little charges on the neutral specials with Oof. deep breathing. Yeah, good dodge. All about finding a one big opening in order to make some massive plays in the end. The down smash hits off of the block in order to survive. d Dog goes for another one, and suddenly John has stage control, has deep breathing online, but gets hit by the Elytra. Still in a rough spot, though, is d Dog. Can John finish his food? No, he can't. Goes for it all and misses. One of the only characters I can actually can contest John offstage is that Steve. Now suddenly Quando is on the... Uh... Oh, we go for backwards my cart, my bad. No lever, no nothing, just raw vibes. I see you. Can we see that sunset teaching also active and a little bit breathing from that deep breathing? And now we have. Oh, we, we ran to a wall. Okay. Oh, oh, oh big, big! Nice. And you lie, and nice. you die. That was the big. The quickest of plat drop air dodges from John. Let's go, John. What a move. All right, I want to see that in frame by frame. I was going to say, especially mm -hmm. now I kind of see the vision of running into the first one. Yeah. <laughs> is because if you have that in your pocket, I understand I wanting will. to get down there to punish. Oh, and uh, John Numbers immediately proved me to be the fool. He, he waits. He chills. the house, and then D-Dog had it set up. That, yeah, it was oh, wow, you caught that so quickly. Yeah. Like, it was... One, two, Do you want to keep going, or, or are we just going yeah. to the set? Let's just go right to the set, because he, <laughs> right, he right. moves real quick. That was so he, fast. He I didn't even catch that. that he landed the platform at first. Yeah. Wow. Congrats to, Je to Jeff, who? To John. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Jeff. <laughs> let's go, Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> okay. LBR. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the, the peach juice is... Uh, Jeff? Is, uh, really What's happening behind through. the scene? What? <laughs> <laughs> is my producer yeah. okay? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 yo, wait, wait. Yo, wait. He's, he's got some peach juice. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just juice. We, liked, we love a little we, bit of we peach juice. We love some fruit juice. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. 
streaming on hard mode. See me literally every other streamer. Yeah, <laughs> 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 no competition. Oh my goodness. Really good stuff. Oh. We're Yo, bring, bring out confident Devin. Oh, I oh. love it. Drink some more of that juice. <laughs> of the juice. <laughs> Can't see and switch Ooh. like me. <laughs> oh, thinking oh, of we need Johnny some juice too. Getting rid of that first AUG. Really, really impactful for Quando here. Gets get gets us tossed around by John for a second there and his own blocks. And we get another throw going for the fourth throw, and it's gonna kill! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we got the rare we fit fourth throw kill. Yeah, okay. I am excited. With deep breathing online, it's got that extra bonus. I mean deep breathing powers up everything and helps John take less damage oh. overall from what is certain to be one of these very soon Steve combos that D-Dog is looking for. Just yeah. some simple up tilt standing right up close to the ledge and saying deal with it. Honestly, yeah, just the, the running out like the up tilt or the jab. Like, all right, are you going to get up? Are you going <laughs> to jump? Are you going to get up? Are you going to jump? What are you it's not going to be good for you. That being said, though, really good for Sen right there. John has been tacking it on. I love that. The dash in grab was so smart. Okay, After see, all the conditioning of the shield. Yeah. And you see the, the Sun Sal cancel with it. I love me some charge storage cancel tech. It's like so many characters can make such good use out of it. And we fit oh. run speed is insane. 99 after the hit. Um, yeah. <laughs> we rolled. <laughs> no, yeah. And you died for it. Mm -hmm. And that was like not the wrong option either. <laughs> I. It happens, but it at happens. the very least, 131%. Ooh. Boom. Down tilt. Sucks. So you're not going to die from it quite yet. <laughs> All right, well, is that, is that downward dog? I think it is, uh, actually. Bridge. Yeah. Wait, no, oh, that... Bridge. Yeah, oh, bridge. okay, you're nerd. Right. Yeah. You do yoga? Yes. Oh, good for Don't you. Don't bully. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the question. For you. It's okay when you ask questions. Yeah. It's okay when you do yoga. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Take care of yourself, bestie. Stay safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the header right there. Steve comes on screen and yeah. everything goes all right. <laughs> Oh, the forward oh. I, I respect it from D-Dog, though. He, he's fully oh, aware okay. that he does not want a long game with John, but gets caught by a minecart moving oh, that wow. slow. Yeah, so I had this thought earlier when D-Dog was doing this sort of setup of, like, I'm going to throw a minecart, and if you roll, I'm going to punish you with the anvil. Right. And I thought to myself, oh, like, maybe spot dodge is a good option there. But it's not, because then that happens. You saw John Numbers dodge, but the dodge didn't last long enough. The minecart picks him up anyway, and then Z Dog is able to just kind of. All right, now forward smash. Yeah. So, uh, it's tough, and it's very. Smash Ultimate is a very poorly conveyed game sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Um, Such a political way the, to say that. The. <laughs> Minecart so has to be moving at a certain speed in order to be box. a hitbox. Right. No, or in order to be a grab box, yeah. rather. It's just very hard to tell how fast it's <laughs> that speed is. Because so, that was slow. So theoretically, spot dodge should work. Yeah. But then sometimes it just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I thought it was slow enough to where it would have been okay. But Me too. My bad, <laughs> Sakurai. My double bat. Okay, D-Dog hitting the soccer ball. Thankfully, as a precaution, number three it out instead of himself. And thankfully, he's back on stage. And now... Kind of finagling around here, seeing a lot of rolls back, seeing a lot of, you know, jab one, two, three. He's got a little bit buried there, but no real follow through with it. And D Dog is now back on stage, has a cart, I'm um, sorry, has a crafting table also ready for himself, and also got the diamond right next to it. Opting to not craft it quite yet, opting to actually run towards John, try and get this anvil, and now finds the punish off of the dash back from John. Yeah, good option there, too. Kind of lands on the anvil and then it almost expects that back air from the Wii Fit. Really good punish with the forward smash. And John getting some solid hits, but the blocks are going to turn them into just. Re well, the blocks Yo! are doing a lot. Yo! <laughs> DQ right now! <laughs> <laughs> no! DQ That's for forward. That's yeah. crazy. Damn, he self reported. Just right into the block, too. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Brother, you put it there. <laughs> <laughs> Short term memory's hard, yeah. man. <laughs> Oh no, oh, we... the landing down air, beating out all of these options. Ooh. And D Dog, time after time, he is getting out of the tumble animation with just like pressing jab. And numbers is like, alright, if you're just gonna like press jab in order to or up air to get out of hits done, I and to, and to get out of tumble, I'm just gonna start pressing hitboxes. Like I'm just gonna start hitting you. I think I just saw the turning point of this match happen at the um SD. 
and suddenly John has been in the in the front seat his entire second stock of Quando, and now on that last stock, he's kind of forced to play catch up, and we yeah. you put the TNT there. <laughs> that was like an ESPN <laughs> top ten. Dude. It's I don't, he, did, he didn't realize that the pressure plate didn't move with him from yeah. the right side to the left side of that TNT. So he puts the redstone down, but brother, you don't have an activator for it. Yeah. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> yeah, all, here's a redstone. All that, all that needed on the TNT was a Chris Berman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been a back air, but we fit, uh, from what I've heard, as a bad back air. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, another TNT setup. No. Oh my god. That was so fast. I was going to talk about the pressure play and the TNT, and then just. There comes a forward smash. Seals the deal on that game. We're going to game four? Question mark? Yes. 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 That is four. Um, I knew it the whole time. I genuinely thought that John was going to win that set that based off of just... Vibes alone. Vibes. <laughs> Complete vibes. Because the vibes on Quando's side were not working in his favor. We got hit by our own TNT. We bonked our own our own dirt block mm. off stage and went down to to the blast zone. But then you kind of just brought it right back and wrapped up wrapped up a little bit of a gift. And now you're on to game four, where we're still going to be on uh, PS2. I'm going to say PlayStation 2. Sorry, I miss it so much. <laughs> we're going to be staying on PS2, of course. And... John, I think, has a little bit of a of a fire in him. I feel like he can definitely bring, take this uh, take this all the way to game five if he if he wins out on game four. But at the same time, this is match point for Quando. This is huge for him, especially as he's kind of been on a little bit of a hiatus uh, for the for the year. True, but I, I think we did see some confidence still, even when the going got a little rough. You know, D Dog yep. was able to just say, "Okay, like I know what I need to do. I'm going to make it happen." and find the hits pretty effectively. The, the TNT, you know, although there was a little bit of some friendly fire, still percentage-wise, very good. Oh, what? The, that was crazy. <laughs> it's it's just things, blocks can be placed so fast, things can move so quickly. Oh, <gasps> you missed the button. We're a little bit, you're not, you're not that long, we fit. I, your roll is, that <laughs> F-toe was. Just keep stretching, one day you'll hit it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how she got to stretch those glutes. She needs the, the JoJo's like pop your arm yeah, out of the yeah. socket oh to get further. You got to get your stand out, <laughs> yeah. a little bit of extra reach. I thought that what the header was. <laughs> That's Low key. stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my stand, soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. That somehow worked out uh, not in John Number's favor, but instead it's going to be Big backers in Quandale setting up in edge guard here on the right, but good stuff from none numbers. Another creative oh. route, but that TNT really had it all covered. Yeah, and connecting even on the jump away. Finding two hits of the minecart before the forward air Ooh. after. Yet, John, when you got deep breathing online, an instant 50% after Nair 1 2 up smash and then the follow up forward air. John is finding the explosive damage. It's just a matter of like. Is the amount of openings that he's manifesting enough to counteract D Dog's more consistent control? Right, right. Oh, he's manifesting. Uh, okay. Crazy. Oh, I heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to oh. hear some insightfulness. That was a very <laughs> good dash grab, but it was kind of scattered out by D Dog. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. John can be off stage so far, down. narrowly avoiding that anvil, but does not avoid the fire of the flint and steel coming from Quando. And does Quando get the anvil again? He absolutely does. When does he not? And it's so effective, even, that John can't even get the verticality to get back to the stage. So now, John's on his last stock. Cost me tournament stock. Uh, and, and Quando, the dog, is looking so, so bright right now to continue on throughout losers. We're going to have to make something happen, man. This is. Very tough for John. Ubel, what are you what are you looking for right now if you're in the John Numbers fan club? Everything that sent everything for Steve comes around like not playing a traditional disadvantage, but more or less trying to find a specific pinpoint where your edge guarding or uh, on stage conversion is at its strongest. For John, that seems to be more centered around either an up smash conversion or some sort of like down air or header spike. So if I'm numbers, I'm looking to try and force D Dog off stage in a very specific fashion to where there's not a ton that blocks can do to help and you're calling out like a minecart or something. But 
Yes. Look how grounded D Dog is playing. Like he's right. not jumping, he's not placing blocks. It's just I'm sprinting at you and I'm forward smashing. Like it's very. <laughs> we have two very. options. You're coming over here and I'm uh, getting forward smash, or I'm going over there to forward smash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, the illusion of choice. Right, right. right. <laughs> and, you know? And you know what? Against someone who's trying to like outmaneuver you or be a little fancy or take advantage of some specific tech with like, oh, the hurt box ex hitbox extension on crafting table. You wow, know what? That worked. Playing no. hyper grounded can sometimes work around that and <laughs> I mean he was said, oh, he was so grounded. He was <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Pancaking and moving. That is less than one tile height. That's, yeah, that's he gets he gets a glow. That's crazy. That's <laughs> evil. My man just that was the floor. We were yeah. kissing it. A and accomplice bit. a dub smash because he needs it. He needs it. Man. He needs it. And he may Back just character. may just need it going into losers finals. We got D Dog staying on the sticks, and it's gonna be Mr. E coming up. Yeah, the run back the, yeah. from winners semifinals yes. with these two, where E won by a three to one set count. Yeah. I can also just look Crazy. right here, and yes. Uh, yeah, you were just right. You just remembered it anyway. You're just crazy with it. No technology involved. Nope. Nope. None. Just all, all brain, brain. brain. Mega mind over here. There's no modders, actually. We're just also tech and imagining what the players are doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just listening to them and the vibes in the room. And <laughs> I'm listening to like the sounds of the attacks, yes, and that's yeah, all you yeah. need to know. And the music, of course, in the background, so I know right, what stage right. you're on. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, low key, that'd be really funny challenge. I can't yeah. lie. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Sakura Smash is a very polished game in a lot of those oh, ways. Yes. Mm. So you could probably close your eyes and hear ten different like sounds of like a character making an attack, and probably name not only the character but also the attack. Right, right. Terry would probably be easy. Too. Terry would be. He says the ball. Yeah. yeah. He, he's, <laughs> he's, he's very vocal. I'm Bro thinking he did Power Wave. <laughs> his moves. Oh, I'm thinking he did. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs>